And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Syracuse coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Dives forward. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. And they get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. 34 is the mic, 34 is the mic. He's coming, check him, check him. Ball is loose, fumble. It's scooped up. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. Toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job, maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Makes the catch and look out. Number 18 with the catch. That's a game in the play. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. So the old draw play gets them a good seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. was close. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an eyelash. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and goal. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. He's taken down at the three-yard line. Gain of a yard by the fullback. Kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Pressure coming in, but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. First and ten. 
Ball on the 40. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll get six yards. The defense here let the halfback roam free for a second, and they were able to connect for a short gain on the play. six-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Watch the run. Watch the run. He's soft, baby. That's a baby soft. Hey, check Mike. Caught with room to work. And he's level at the 49. to about the 41-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Six-yard line. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Hey, watch 11, watch 11. Hey, check, check Mike, 11, check Mike. Gets rid of it quickly. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Here we go! Oh, it almost picked off. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Makes it fourth and 12. Boston College is looking to tie things up. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Immediately tackles. Number 34 brings him down with the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Gets out to about the 31. Let's it fly. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. So at the end of one, 3-3 three, three tied. First down. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Make it 
So the sack makes this a second and long. Quick throw. They'll bring him down to the 48 yard line. That makes it 37. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And a quick throw. And down he goes around the 30-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 33. He's at midfield. Caught, and that's a first down. He's tackled around the 38 yard line. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. He fights forward to about the 36. Quality gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Brought down at about the 27-yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From the 27-yard line, first down. Four down, four down. Hey, check back 34. Down, 34. Ready? Easy, easy, kill, kill. Get to that quickly. That's good for a game four yards. That makes it second and six. Check, check, wide 80. And he is drilled at the 23. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Hot, hot. 
for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on down. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. That's a great tackle at the 15. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Got a man tackled for a loss. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. The defense decided to go conservative sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Oh, excellent punt. <laughs> oh, what a hit. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front with the veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. And he's tackled right away. Regular, regular, regular. Here we go. And they make the stop around the 24 yard line. Number 17 at the 24 yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Here we go. Gets it. He's in space. Now he tries to buy some time. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the seven yard line. We've played a half. And this one's knotted up at three. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Big opening. Back old after a decent 
and pick up. That brings him second in the From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. That credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Throws in a cover, he just picked off. At the 30, got an opening. The 10. Touchdown, Orange. And he hits the PAT. Syracuse is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Syracuse, the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle with the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. <laughs> And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They hand it off again. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. And he tackles him hard at the 38. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. Second and ten. Ball on their own 38. Watch the screen. Pass. Set. Black. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of four yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 46. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Second down and five. Ball on the 30. The 
This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. The 10. Touchdown, Eagles. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44. First and ten. ten. to the tight end, and he's taken down at the 48. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Here we go! Release tight end incomplete. From the 43 yard line, second down. Let's go. Hot wide 80. And he hits him hard at the 37. That's a gain of six on the play. Third down. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Syracuse could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. Line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to live it. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Here we go! Most red 18! He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it third and nine. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. Right and down he goes at the 40-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here we go! Check, check. Regular, regular, regular! Looks left, finding his tailback. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 
13-10, Syracuse. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Ready! Watch the 59 play. Philly! 59 Wilson Philly! Almost intercepted there. So we're looking at another third down here. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. And this one is a beauty. This has been like a heavyweight bout, Kirk. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Syracuse is up by three. He wants it all. Oh, what an interception. He's tackling at the 41-yard line. What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. From their own 41 yard line. First down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Call it a game of one yard. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. They're stopped for a five yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. And they're coming after this punter. He makes it to the 28-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Syracuse has a three-point lead. Nice run up the middle. Brought down at the 40. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. Let's go, hey. Go Mike, Mike 34. Check, check. 180. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. And he shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Call it again, 18 yards. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. 34 is the mic. Let's go. Red, 68. Red, 68. 
They'll knock him down for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Goes downtown. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage scheme. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six-play, 72-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So the score now, 20 to 10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Syracuse defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. They come out in an empty backfield. And a quick throw. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Just over two minutes in the game. As a man, he'll lose big yards. That's a loss of four yards. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Touchdown here to get back in this game. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Big time interception, and this game's over. First and ten. Ball on their own 32. Just over a minute left. That's a great tackle at the 35. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Boston College is going to take their first time out of the half. Nice run to the outside. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. He fights forward to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six yards. Third down. Two ties, two ties. Four down, four down. 34 is the mic, 34. 
We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 2010, Syracuse. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Boston College probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.